We don't have the funds. We don't have a government that says, okay, go with it. Mm -hmm. So now you need funds. What are the, what are the and to build this, we didn't have any outside funds. We did it with our own money. So we do need funds for so, that. So it's a monetary system. How much funds do you need? Um, well, how much do you have if we can build something? <laughs> you know what I mean? But a, a, a city, something like this, it would be about two million. Really? Just to Even with man hours and nothing. equipment? That's just the design cost of the design? I mean, that, that really doesn't two, sound two realistic. Million. I'm sorry. Oh, two billion. billion. Okay, I was just saying. <laughs> well, you're not building all that for two million dollars. Sorry. There that goes. Place, back in the day, it'd be two million. Yeah. Now it's two billion. Yeah. Start pumping out dollars. Um, but I don't like So, what? Yeah. Well, I there's a lot of people that like sports too. That's right. But I don't think um, I play hockey to to try and beat someone. I just enjoy playing it. Right. You might not, but I, a lot of people might. Yeah. I enjoy playing tennis. Have you ever seen a hockey game yeah. on TV? Yeah. Have you ever seen the the viciousness and <laughs> the fights after hockey games? Yeah. People don't even go to sports games and say. Fred from this team played really well, and George from the other team played really well. No, it's a program to help you be nationalistic, yeah. root for your team, and, and condition them to go to war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You well, don't what know about the players what's happening. themselves, though, if they enjoy playing it. Like, let's say tennis, they're for example. They're extremely so competitive, more and they're extremely brutal. And they, they just channel them in. They don't care whether they're failing or going through college or not or know anything else. And they use them as a, as a hitting board. You know that, that the more you hit your head in, 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 say, football, it's not that you need a concussion, but the continuous hits of the head, it makes them morons later oh, yeah. in life. And they just use them. They don't care about them. They know this happens. So it depends on what you want, what kind of but people you want. But it still comes down to, like, I like playing hockey. It's like something very simple, not what happens in society today. Well, then you can play hockey. Yes. I guess play hockey. But, but maybe the hockey would be outside. You know, people <laughs> like racing. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's really what you've been conditioned to like. I would feel safer. You know, we have people who live down the road that like throwing a rope over a cow, and, and the kids, I see them there for hours on end, mm -hmm. learning how to right. throw the rope over the fence post. They like that. I would feel much safer with somebody who got their kicks and their joy out of, out of science and figuring out heart disease. But I do, or, I do enjoy that too, but I enjoy having different aspects rather than, I enjoy cooking. I enjoy learning about science, but I also enjoy it. Like hockey is one of my many I know things. People, I know people, I know women who say, well, I, I'm, I'm a waitress yeah. yeah. when the future. It's healthy for you. You can't mm -hmm. climb out of the mm -hmm. primordial slime without bringing some of it with you. Obesity is higher. Maybe you can design a new game which doesn't compete in the same way. Yeah. yeah. Mm, That's like what the games in the future Revolution. Like Xbox. Slam and you become mm. smarter. Xbox 360. Well, the well, purpose of those games is the competition itself. Yeah, it can be way better. It, it is a winner and loser type of game. of the future. You can choose to do it. I think the next generation will get their exercise and other things from some things more functional. And yeah. So they don't hurt other people right. too and compete. Mm -hmm. Oh, but again, we're, your, your perspective is by today's standards how you were brought that's up. Right. That's and right. Again, mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Your and likes and dislikes are not yours. Yeah. They're what's been superimposed upon you. Yeah, but now they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to claim them. I well, that know, is true. I know that the, the black racists in the past, if you've ever seen the movies when they're stringing up and torturing blacks, they have a smile on their face and they're drooling. They liked it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So whatever you like, you know, they're, they're, if you ask a, a, um, American Indian what they like, it's where they want to live, they would pick their teepee. Yeah. You know, they like that. Yeah. So you'd have to see whether, you'd have to ask a lot of questions about your likes and your dislikes and whether children in the future should be given the same kind of likes and dislikes. 
Yeah. It's fine if you like it, but if you understand the limitations, it turns something you down can teach prejudice and bigotry to your kids because you know that will hurt you too. You have to question everything that you like. Yeah, even music and your sports and and why you like them. Mm -hmm. I got a question. Well, like in the Venus Project, uh, there's no law. So, what if accidentally a murder is committed in the Venus Project? Maybe somebody got cheated on and they killed their lover or something oh, exactly. because they got cheated on. Like, yeah, but it's I mean, just like well, there is law. No, no law. there's no law. Just there's moral no law. law. It, it's moral. just like. No, there's no morals. Until we reduce the law. We have morals within this culture from all the inefficiencies that they've created. Yeah. 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 That this culture produces, then they superimpose laws. They make the wealthy make the laws don't steal because they have something to steal. There and, is no stealing. And if you steal, they give you a moral code, mm -hmm. and then they have prisons. But if what what the Venus Project does is finds the causes of the aberrant behavior, like stealing or hurting somebody to get something. If you have access to everything, you don't need hundreds of books of don't steal. There isn't and anything to steal. That's right. It's you have access to them. Sounds and you're great. not deprived. And you grow up learning that you don't own the person you're with. And if they don't want to hmm. be with you, no matter how much you hurt them, it doesn't change things. So you grow, you grow up with a different set of values that hmm. you wouldn't even consider hurting somebody. And if you do, you're not put in jail, but you're helped. You know what I mean? If there's brain damage, then you'd be helped, just like if anybody could get brain damage, so you'd want to be treated well. Or, you know, you'd study what would make for change the, the tissues in your brain so you could change that, too. Be, there are things that we don't even begin to work on in this society. Okay, so a person who commits murder would have to be sent uh, to a hospital to be treated, or mental hospital? Mm. Yeah, they, they, you know, before you go into the city, if we had the first city, you go through orientation, mm -hmm. and you're continuously learning new things, and you do change. People do change. I have seen it in myself, and I've seen it in everybody who comes here, and everybody mm. who you work with, you know, who you go to job work with, 